Hello everyone and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. Our stories are... Sudanese Professionals Association calls for participation in the June 30th demonstrations. Unitams to be deployed in Sudan by January 2021. Hundreds of Sudanese stranded in Egypt move to Sudan. The Sudanese Professionals Association has called on the citizens to participate effectively in the large June 30th demonstration, referring to the necessity of adherence to the peacefulness and preventive health controls in order to avoid the transmission of coronavirus infection. In a statement it issued on Saturday, the association affirmed its solidarity with the resistance committees in the neighborhoods and the association of December Revolution's families and the other efficient people's revolutionary forces calling for confronting revolutionary peaceful action to correct the transitional period work and to push the civil government to accomplish the urgent revolutionary tasks. Sudan Communist Party SCP has called on its membership to participate effectively in June the 30th demonstrations, referring to the necessity for commitment to peaceful demonstrations and the preventive of health measures and the tracks announced by the resistance committees. The SCP called on the government to adopt the requested seriousness, protect the demonstrators, address them, and to respond to the demands of the masses. The party, in a statement published in its Facebook page, called for making June the 30th a step forward to complete the task of the transitional period and the civilian-led government. The deputy spokesperson for the Secretary General, Farhan Haq, mentioned that the UNITAMS has been established and the Secretariat is now planning the mission's concept and structure and will be working with the government and other stakeholders to finalize these plans in the coming months. Haq stated while the impact of COVID-19 has delayed the deployment of UNITAMS to Sudan, it is expected that the mission will be operational in the coming months and able to start delivering against all its strategic objectives by the 1st of January 2021, as requested by the Security Council. Eight buses out of a convoy of 10 buses moved Saturday from Cairo, heading to the border Sudanese Argin area, to transport Sydney's citizens stranded in Egypt to their homeland. The buses were stationed since the early morning of Saturday in the Abdin Square in central Cairo to transport hundreds of Sydney's stranded by buses from Egypt to Sudan through arrangements by, made by a group of official and popular Sydney's parties with the participation of Egyptian circles. The trip includes 10 tourist buses moving from Abdin Square in the center of Cairo to transport about 500 Sudanese nationals stranded in Egypt who would like to return by road through the northern state to Khartoum and then to leave to different states in Sudan after satisfying the health arrangements. The first vice president of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Mohamed Hamdan Dagalu, and the accompanying delegation returned to Khartoum after a three-day visit to Ethiopia, during which he held talks with the Ethiopian officials. He was received at Khartoum airport by the member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, General Ibrahim Jabir, the Secretary General of the Transitional Sovereign Council, General Mohamed Al Ghali Ali Yusuf, and a number of senior officials. In a press statement, Lieutenant General Dagalu said that his visit to Ethiopia came at the official invitation of its Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed, indicating that the visit to Ethiopia was successful. The South Sudan Mediation for Peace between Sudan government and the armed struggle movements affirmed that objective reasons have prevented the signing of the peace agreement in initials according to the predetermined date. In a press conference in Juba, Deputy Head of South Sudan Mediation Diu Matok referred to some difficulties encountered in the negotiation process, including the delay in discussing security arrangements in that fourth track, as well as the delay in the authority filed by the participating parties. Matok said that the government delegation is due to arrive in Juba on Sunday, indicating that the first vice president of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Mohamed Hamdan Dagalu, and Lieutenant General Shamsuddin Al Kabashi are due to join the government delegation to discuss the remaining issues. Sudan received 40,000 tons of wheat as first installment of the purchase of wheat from the World Food Program by Sydney's Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning. The first installment came as implementation of the agreement that was signed on the 14th of April between Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning with the WFP. 
According to the agreement, the new side would pay by domestic currency and the WFP would use the domestic currency in humanitarian and programs in the country. The Federal Minister of Health, Dr. Akram Ali Tom, received assistance and supplies for medical and health personnel to confront the new virus of corona provided by the sisterly state of Qatar. Dr. Akram has appreciated the Qatari aid that was an extension of previous assistance and praised the Qatari Charity Foundation and the professional associations operating in the state of Qatar, pointing to the historic ties between the two countries. He expressed thanks to the Qatari Minister of Health, Hanan al Kawari, and affirmed his ministry's keenness to increase the examination area in all the states of Sudan, reiterating his call for adherence to the precautionary measures. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of new 100 COVID-19 infections, in addition to 118 recovered cases and seven fatalities, bringing the total number of the infections since the start of the epidemic to 8,416 cases, including 513 fatalities and 3,204 recovered cases. Reminding headlines. Sydney's Professionals Association calls for participation in the June 30th demonstrations. Unitams to be deployed in Sudan by January 2021. Hundreds of Sydney's stranded in Egypt moved to Sudan. That was everything from Shuruq TV. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.